What's up, automation community? Welcome back. So glad to have you all here with us today. We are QTPTutorial.net, and our goal here is to bring you the best, highest quality video tutorials on QTP and UFT automated testing. We aim to teach you everything from A to Z related to automated testing to make you guys as good as you can be. For the past several weeks, we have been learning VBScript, the basic, most fundamental piece of automation with UFT. If you don't know VBScript, you should not be doing QTP automation because you can't code, you can't understand, you can't work with other people and read their code. And so that's why we are teaching our students to learn VBScript. So today we are continuing with our next topic of conditional logic. But before we do that, I want to take a few minutes and quickly go over on everything that we have covered over the past few weeks because they have been long, they have been hard, but you guys did awesome and let's just quickly go over it. So our last section covered VB scripts, arrays, constants, and dictionaries. We started by discussing some constants. We talked about different runtime constants such as date and time constants and string constants. We discussed the uh, ampersand underscore operator. We talked about variables and different data types. We learned how to define variables and we learned variable naming rules. We learned that we should follow the Hungarian notation of naming our variables. We also learned about variable scope. We designed a mathematic game using pure VB script that allows us to play mathematics with our user. And then we learned how to work with environmental variables. After that, we moved into the great concept of arrays. So useful and so fantastic in automated testing frameworks and any kind of development. We learned about single dimension arrays, multi dimension arrays, and processing arrays using two different loops, which are the for each loop and the for loop. After that, we learn how to resize the arrays and how to deal with dynamic arrays. Finally, we wrapped everything up with dictionaries, which are similar to an array, but they store everything in a key value pair. And all of that provided a phenomenal background of variables, arrays, constants, and dictionaries. We discussed everything in deep detail. We left no stone unturned and I did my best to convey everything and tie it to real UFT QTP functions and frameworks so that all of you who have been watching the tutorials, you not only get the benefit of the knowledge, you actually get to apply it. You don't just learn the theory, you learn how the theory is applied at work by real automation engineers doing actual automated testing. So anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and begin conditional logic. <laughs> 